I'm Josh. And I'm Caleb. And we are Whole Fast Marine. We do everything from basic service to advanced troubleshooting. We carry many products for your boating needs, and if we don't have it, we can get it by the next day. We also carry a full line of Amsoil synthetic lubricants, as well as interstate batteries. If you mention this ad, you will receive a 10% discount on your first service. And remember, remember for all your boating needs, it's Whole Fast Marine. Hi, Ed Smith coming to you from TheBassCast.com again with another tip. Today let's talk about an amazing new technique that has come out. It's called the drop shot. You know, it's, it's interesting how fishermen are so ingenious and develop new techniques at work. Uh, when this one first came out, I was skeptical. It's more of a finesse type uh, technique, but uh, believe me, it works. My old fishing partner that I fished with, Larry Rakes, uh, learned how to use the bait from some friends of his. He took it, and, uh, we fished a tournament, he put it, was rigged it, rigged it up and was fishing it. Again, I was skeptical and he started catching the heck out of fish, so naturally I learned how to do it myself. Uh, it's a technique that works in pretty much all conditions, it works pretty much all times of year, and you don't have to fish it deep or shallow. You can catch fish on the shallow or up to 30 foot or plus feet of water. Uh, we fished a tournament at Smith Mountain this past weekend and all of our fish came from 25 to 30 feet of water on the drop shot. Uh, I'm going to show you how to rig it. <clears throat> it's hard to see this and I used a bigger hook just for the demonstration purposes so you might be able to see it. But when you tie the hook on the line you want it 8 to 10 inches above the sinker and if the hook turns out when you tie it in the down position like this you run the, eye, the line back through the eye of the hook and pull real tight on the end that the sinker will be on. If I can see it. <laughs> there we go. And it'll turn the hook over. Like that. And that's the way you want it. When you put the hook on there, you want it to, the, the line to stand straight out. There you go. Just like that. And when you put the hook, the line, when you put the worm on there, it'll stand straight out and above the sinker, like in a suspended fashion. And the technique: you put the sinker on the bottom. We use a sinker called uh, that's made specifically for a drop shot. It's got a little piece of wire at the end of it. You tie, it, run the line through it, and it holds the sinker on the line. You don't have to tie it on there. And the uh, the theory behind it is, if you get hung up, you lose the sinker, but you don't lose your line and the and the lure. Uh, the bites on this bait are subtle. You don't really hardly ever feel a bite. You, you throw it out, you work it back and shake it a little bit, and work it a few feet, and you shake it a little bit, and work it a few feet, and you shake it, and then when you go to move it, it'll either feel mushy. Sometimes they'll swim off with it. Most of the time they don't. It's just a heavy feeling on the line. And with this particular hook that we use, it's called the rebar, the rebarb, you don't set the hook hard. You just pretty much lift up on it. The hook's very sharp. It comes through the soft robo worm extremely easy and it hooks the fish. And don't worry about it being a small hook. We've caught six, six and a half pound bass on this small hook. They cannot throw it. Well, they might be able to, but it's hard for them to throw it. It's so small. So <clears throat> the technique works on bluff banks. It works on flat banks. It works in brush piles. It works around boat docks. Believe me, tie it on. Throw it and give it a fair shot and you'll learn how to catch a lot more fish more consistently all times of the year.